Larissa Switlick describes herself as a hardcore huntress. There's a group of hogs up here and we're trying to get closer. With a programme on American TV in which she travels the world hunting big game. Scotland was her most recent destination from where she posted several images of herself smiling next to the animals she's killed. It is this photo, taken on Islay, that has caused the most outrage, attracting 13,000 comments online. Judy Murray, among those to condemn the activity, disgraceful, she tweeted. It's a goat and it's in Scotland on a beautiful island. Stop this, please. I'm absolutely disgusted to see trophy hunters engaged in blood sport in Scotland killing our wildlife. If there's any argument for any kind of population control of goats, it has to be as a last resort and conducted by professional people, not trophy hunters roaming around the countryside killing our animals. But this trophy hunting, done on private land, is not illegal in Scotland. Without a natural predator, wild goats are classed as invasive species. Culling is used to control their population, with several tourism companies offering the chance to shoot them. But the Scottish Government is now promising a review of this law, which some say will harm an industry believed to be worth more than £150 million a year. The most important thing about much of that expenditure is it takes place in the autumn winter months when other tourists are thin in the ground. So lots of local businesses do rely on an extended season due to country sport. The woman at the centre of the row says she's leaving social media for two weeks after receiving death threats, writing, hopefully that will give enough time for all the ignorant people out there sending me death threats to get educated on hunting and conservation. Red stag down, red wing But it seems this is a debate about context as much as practicalities, a woman seen as exploiting wildlife rather than celebrating it. Ivor Bennett, ITV News.